damas y caballeros. It's time. It's time. Hold on tight for the best behind the mic. El guapo. Muy guapo. El mejor. Ay, guapo. What's good, team? Salute and salutations. Welcome to Beautiful Eyes. I am your not so humble host, El Wapo. And happy 2022 to everybody out there. We made it, baby. We made it. We are here. I am so glad to see you all. Thank you for spending the first day of the new year with me. And we are going to make this worth your while. Listen, this is going to be epic. You are not ready. You are not ready. But let's take care of the administrative stuff first. Please make sure that you like the video on your way in the door. Hit that subscribe button. All right. Hit the notification bell if you have not already and share, share, share. We must get the word out there. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Check this out. Hang on one second. Let's make sure this works this time. Uh Oh, there it is. Gaston's world. My main man. What is good, sir? Sir, best intro ever. Thank you, man. I do what I can, man. Shout out to Gail at night. Please click the like button. I got my chats working now. I pay all this money to get this thing to work, and I mess it up before the stream. But, uh, yeah, it's good, to, it's good to have you all in here. Gail, listen, I moved spot snob talk to 6 p.m. because I didn't want to conflict with you at 8 p.m. Because I love you, Mama. Happy New Year to you. All right, we are going to go ahead and get started. Here's the thing. It's been wild in these YouTube streets. It really has. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we have our first super sticker of the night from Jessica. Thank you, Jessica. I appreciate the $5 super chat, okay? Uh, listen, hiya, how you doing? It's good to see you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. So, yeah, we're going to rock and roll. I have one of my absolute favorite content creators here for the very first live stream that we're going to do in 2022. This is also sadly the very last live stream that I'm going to do in uh, the first Classy Checkmate studio. Shout out to Magnus Carlson. Uh, I'll be taking the studio down tomorrow because LaBea and I are moving on, uh, on Monday. Uh-oh, they're coming in. They're coming in. Hang tight, Casey. I'm coming at you, brother. I'm coming at you. Here we go. Houdini Unchained says, what's the name of... The song with the marching band beat in your intro. Also, Happy New Year. Good question. If you email me, I will tell you. I'm not going to say it over this. But uh, if you email me, I will give you the name of that song. All right. Thank you so much for the generous $5 super chat. I appreciate it. All right. Without further ado, we are bringing up the absolute man of the hour, the kosher clinician. Here we go. Let's make sure I do this right. Hang on one second. Nope, I messed up. Hold up. Hold up. El Wapo's struggling. Listen, I got to tell y'all, I was sick as a dog yesterday. I had a fever of 103 degrees. Can you believe that? Yeah, I had a fever of 103 degrees, and uh, it was nasty, y'all. It was real nasty. Your boy very seldom gets sick. I very seldom get sick, but I was hurting. Hurting, yo. So, you see, I didn't even tie my ass got today, but we're here. We're at it. Now, let's try this again. Without further ado, the man of the hour, the kosher clinician. What's, well, up, what's up, brother? Man, what's going on, man? If it ain't seven, it ain't kosher. If it ain't kosher, it ain't right. That's so, what's right. going on, brother? Man, life is good. <laughs> Happy New Year to you, bro. Happy New Year to you, too, brother. What's been going on? I look forward to this opportunity to more or less talk about the nuances of the ego and how many times El Guapo, a toxic ego, can be a detriment not only to oneself, but also to those around you. So I look forward to the conversation, brother. Absolutely, absolutely. Let me grab these two quick super chats, man. All right. To yes, sir. Take your time. Gavriel Seven with the two Canadian dollars. New sub. Salute to you, El Guapo. Thank you so, so much. I, I'll tell you what. Um... Getting those Canadian dollars and getting those subscribers means so much to me. You know, in April, I had no subs. I had no subs. Uh, I hit 12,000 today. And uh, that's after having a rough December 
you know, I went from um, uh, from ten thousand to twelve thousand in a month, which is twenty percent growth, which is 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 fantastic. It's really fantastic. And if we keep doing that, we'll be a hundred grand by the end of twenty twenty two. So I appreciate well y'all. Thank you so much, Gabriel. Welcome to the team. Uh oh, somebody wants to bomb. Shout out to Jessica with the nineteen ninety nine. I super chat just for your graphics. LOL. Just kidding. It's because you are awesome. Okay. We're going to give you some graphics. I'm going to drop a new one for you. Okay. We're going to do the carpet bomb for you. Shout out to Jessica. Here we go. Woo! Flying through bombing that chat. I appreciate you, Jessica. And to Top Gun, shout out to you two good brothers. Troll already in the building. Yeah. <laughs> things understood don't need to be explained. We're not going to. We are focused on bigger and better things this year, all right? So let's keep moving. Here we go. But shout out to you, Top Gun. I love the name. I love that name. Incoming. Woo! Shout out to Top Gun. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, Kosher, before we do anything, man, I was having a conversation with you the other day, and, bro, we were on the phone for an hour and a half before I even realized what was going on, man. I enjoyed talking no doubt, to you so no doubt. much, dog. Listen, yes, yes, it was. Yes, go ahead, brother. I would be super remiss if I didn't ask you to talk about your channel first things first. Tell them about the kosher clinician and what it is you do, sir. Well, listen, the kosher clinician is a formulation of male empowerment, one, but also what I call the group catharsis when men come together in the spirit. El Guapo of universality and brotherhood and where they can share their pain unapologetically and from a masculine heteronormative perspective. Many times at Guapo in these current trends in these current times, men have been more or less silenced based on them trying to speak up, speaking truth to power, but also El Guapo because of negative social conditioning. My channel is based on seven principles. Those seven principles that help a man to become optimized are Faith, family, female psychology, finances, world travel, politics, and understanding how the masculine ego impacts his mental and physical health. And when you coalesce all of those seven terms, El Guapo, you have what's called male optimization. This is the time for empowerment for masculine men, for men to stand firm on their convictions and to live life unapologetically do what I call the synthetic barbershop when men come together. Right. And as I've always said, Aguapo, it's a place where, where as men, we may not agree on, on, on all things or ideologies, but we come together as allies of a common cause only to dissipate once the crisis is over. And there's a crisis in heteronormative masculinity that needs to be addressed. It's something, Aguapo, that's not only impacting black men, it's impacting all men, and it needs to be addressed. Bruh. So... I'm going to tell you something. There's something about two things about you that I will go to my grave saying. <laughs> Number one, three things, three things. <laughs> Number one, you are the first person ever to recognize me in public from right. YouTube. You were one yeah. of the first. Uh-oh, we got a heavy hitter in the building. Shout out to the lead attorney. What's going Shout on? Salute Lee. at Beautiful Lies and at Kosher Clinician. Listen, Shout Lee, out Lee. normally- Normally, bro, I make you uh, uh, pay some money to get you one of these uh, graphics, but you got a graphic, man. He pulled up in the stream, look, like a transformer, man. Coming in, look, dropping bombs on the stream. Thank you so much, Lee Attorney. Thank you so much. I appreciate you coming through. Woo! All right, and Gas's World, my main man, winning all 2022. Absolutely. Gas, because I love you, you get the ka -ching and you get the bazooka, man. Thank you, bro. Bombs. I love it. I love it. Man, I love this team. But I'm going to tell you, you are the very first person that ever recognized me in public. And that mm. was uh, out of the country. Right, right. Yep, yes. That was out of the country. And I was right, shocked, right. man. I was absolutely <laughs> shocked. Hold right, on one second. Right. LaBea, if you're watching right. this, I think I'm still running a fever. Can you bring me a washcloth or something? Because I'm sweating like a pig under these lights. Um, <laughs> the second thing I'll say is, bro. You're huge, man. Y'all yes. don't sleep on the culture clinician. I'm six foot right. two, like 230. I'm a bit overweight right now. But yo, kosher is huge. What are you like? Six five, six six? 
I'm 6'6 six, six with shoes on. 6'6, six, six, man. 6'6 six, six with shoes on. Yeah, man. Yeah, six, and six. then the, the strong 6'6. Six, six. Yeah. Right. The third thing I would say is that you are one of the very first people that gave me a shot through a collaboration. And no you doubt. reached out to me, no you doubt. invited me on. Dude, I wouldn't know Al Grease if it wasn't for you. you no, know doubt. What I'm no doubt. No so, doubt. No and, doubt. And I, I don't forget that type of stuff. So I appreciate everything that you do. And we were talking yes, the other day. Hang on one second. Y'all got to, like James Brown, jump back when I kiss myself. It's hot in here under these lights today. I might still have some of that fever. But, uh, yeah, man, you invited me up, and we had a great conversation. You've been on my channel. And, and I'm telling you, man, dude, the conversations that we have right. are epic. Epic. Yes, sir, they are. They can are. we, can yes. we shout out another brother in the Manosphere, another brother that just did it yesterday. Shout out to my protege, Uncle Stu, the old man on the Stu, block no with the $10 super Stu. chat. No yeah. words, just love. I watched the Leeds uh, replay yesterday, uh, today, and man, that is so awesome. Lead attorney, thank you so much for being the catalyst to get Uncle Stu over 1,000 subs. Yo, yes, a sir. lot of people did it big in 2021. You no and doubt. I, Kosher, we hit over 1,000. Um, yes, Mosaic with TJ Randolph. Uh, who else? Who, uh, before the Billions hit it. My before man, Millennial billions, Mark right. TV just hit uh, mm -hmm. over 10,000 subs. Yo, we right. winning. We are winning. We crushed it. And I, yeah, I no absolutely doubt. love it. So shout out to Uncle Stu. You get the big bomb, sir. Woo! Shout out to Uncle Stu, the old man on the block. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much for all the love and the support always. And I can't wait to talk to you soon. Millennial Mark, I just mentioned you, man. Congratulations on your 1,000 subs. Y'all don't realize the first 1,000 is the hardest. It yes, really, man. really is. When you right. are fighting and scraping and you hear Lead talk about this, man, and we're going to get to the subject, but yes, sir. We, we, we spend a little family time. Yeah, I, I, look, I just said that, Millennial. I know you just hit your 1,000, bro. Congrats to you, man. Congrats to you. But what I'll tell you is that first 1,000 is rough. You right. wake up every morning, you look at your YouTube studio, and you might have gotten 12 new subs the day before, and you wake up and you lost 15. Mm -hmm. I know you know what that's like, Kosher. I know you know yes. what that's like. Yes, yes, it's it's a roller coaster, man. You know, I, I forgot, I remember when I started out, I was so happy to get 53, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and when you would see one, you know, you would lose one. And I'm gonna shout out O'Shea Duke Jackson. O'Shea played a role in helping me in a small part, initially, you know, he gave me a little boost. I want to shout out to the lead attorney. He's always extended his hand with warmness. And, um, you know, there was a show that I did, I think it was Jen on the Block, and, you know, and it was a good show. It was fun. It was satire. And uh, and it took it to another level. And I've been getting it out of the mud myself from that point on. I've just been grinding and grinding and becoming, you know, evolving and just trying to figure this algorithm out. But more or less, man, trying to give good content to the brotherhood, trying to inspire the brothers to be the best versions of themselves. And like I said, man, you know, you're right. The male ego can get in place. And we're going to talk about it after you finish doing your shout outs. But I'm so honored, man, to be on the platform, man. You're a stand up brother, man. I would say that you are rare because you don't have a lot of men like you that once they reach a pinnacle of their success, they reach back. So that speaks truth to your loyalty. And I'm very loyal, too. So you're in our assemblage, you know, the Leo and the Aries, man. So, yeah. You know, what and what more can we ask segue. for? That is a very right. good segue because this is what we were talking about before, right? Mm -hmm. So. Yes, sir. You know, it's tough. It's tough starting out. And one thing that I that I love that I saw uh, you do is that there was definitely a time that I was smaller than you, you know. Yes, sir. And you reached back before I ever did. Lead reached mm -hmm. back before I ever did. And so right. I will be beyond remiss to do the same thing. But let's talk well about that ego thing. Because one of the things that I learned starting out uh, in this YouTube thing that I'm going to tell you the truth, man, uh... I struggle with this. Mm -hmm. I'm very bad at comparing my worst to somebody else's best. Mm -hmm. And it's not a jealousy thing or anything. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold on one second, man. Yo, Millennial What's Mark. Yo, you got to stop playing games in my chat, bro. What is you doing, man? Stop <laughs> hijacking my chat. I know you got it like that, man. I know you got it like that. Listen. Millennial Mark going to come through and say, kicking in the door with the 44, dropping love on the stream. Two strong brothers. Salute to the host and the chat. Must love. This is how, this is how Millennial Mark comes through. He's the only one that's gotten this one. You ready? Watch this. 
Millennial Mark with the big $44 super chat. Thank you so much, Millennial Mark TV. Listen, in 2022, we are going to be doing uh, a um, snob talk together, me and Millennial Mark. His yeah, channel man. just hit 1,000, but I'm telling you, he has the ability to be more profitable than all of us with what he's doing. Mm. And I love what he does. And he's a six foot six brother like you, bro. So you know what I'm saying? Mm, wow. Oh, wow, wow, we got the ladies wow. in the house today, too. Check this out. Salutations. I am Courtney Michelle. Good to have you in here. I'm honored. I think this is the first time I've ever seen you in my chat. So very good to have you here. Thank you so much, Mama. I appreciate you coming through. All right. We're talking about this ego thing, right? Yes. And um, one of the things that. Boy, this is the first time I'm mentioning his name in 2022 that Kevin Samuels says is that uh, self-awareness is sexy. Yes. Uh, what I will say for the men, because I'm not going to be talking about men being sexy, I think self-awareness needs to be standard. Okay. And I think that we need to understand where we are and where we need to go. And I think that we as black men need to realize that our egos to a certain point can be very healthy because your ego is very tightly tied to your self-esteem. You know what I'm yes. saying? And right. uh, I think that we as black men, as we're improving our image, I watched something on Instagram today with Hafiz from The Roommates, and he was talking about his five-year journey from mm -hmm. sleeping on the couch, you know, to having an accountant, you know, from crying over women to planning a wedding with the woman of his dreams. Right. You know what I'm saying? From him and uh, I forget the other roommate's name. I'm sorry, uh, the roommates. Forgive me. But uh, from them being in T-shirts and he was wearing a gray suit and he had his tie actually tied. I don't have my ascot tied today because I'm chilling. But what I love is that as we continue to come up, more and more brothers are awakening to the yes. fact that black men are kind of the ish. Like O'Shea has those T-shirts. Black men are perfect. He's okay. kind of right, bro. He's kind of <laughs> right. And I think that we need to own how good we are and step into how awesome we can be. And before you respond, let me get my main man, another one that hit 1,000 subs this year, before the billions with the $10 Without. super chat. Without. Happy New Shout Year, team. Him. Thank you yes, so sir. much before the billions. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm going to give you two bombs. Boom and boom. Now I'll give you the center bomb, too. There we go. All right. So tell me, Kosher, what do you yes. think about uh, black men engaging the healthy part of their ego? Well, the healthy part of the ego, Guapo, is actually tied to awareness that you talked about. And the healthy part of the ego is more or less synonymous to Freudian psychoanalytic theory called the superego. Mm -hmm. But when you put it in context, it's also tied to a healthy ego defense mechanism called sublimation. Sublimation is a byproduct of awareness where a person takes something bad and they turn it into something good. Sublimation, a WAPO can be tied to um, sexual urges or can be tied to any urge that's deemed to be negative. But when people can take those negative things and turn it into something good based on self-awareness, it helps them become a better version of themselves. You know, Freud talked about the three stages of the ego. It's called the, the id, the ego, and the superego. The id is more primitive. The ego is more like the consciousness, and the superego is like the aid or two, the conscious that tells you don't do it. Almost like the devil on one side, which is the primitive, God on one side, and the conscious, the, um, the, the, uh, the ego in the middle. Right. But back to point, it's good that men have those contextual frameworks in place because it doesn't get them in a very precarious predicament that so many men get into. And many times, because we are men, men can be slaves to their ego. I have a big ego, you know, and some say they don't live by the Zodiac, but, you know, Leos have big egos. I mean, I have we one like too. to win. Right, you're an Aryan, you know, we love to win. We don't like losing. And um, I don't like to lose. Anything I put my hands on, I want to be number one in everything that I do. And, uh, and I'm not going to stop until I do it. But here's the caveat. I would never do anything based on malfeasance to hurt anyone else. 
like Anton Daniels said, get it from the mud. That's right. I get mine from the mud. I earn mine, you know. And so it's it's all about discipline, Iguapo. When a person is more or less learning to be disciplined and learning how to challenge, challenge and channel that negative energy into something positive, that's a sign that he's very aware of his limitations, but also his future prospects based on that King analysis that you talked about a few minutes ago. See, this is why... I'm going to bring this up in a second. I'm going to bring a, a book up in a second. Real fast. Yes, uh, daggone it, Coach. You be killing me every time I talk to you, bro. I'm not ready that. I got to look. I need like three cups of coffee and uh, espresso. I shouldn't be drinking scotch when I'm, I'm talking to you, man, because I need to be super self-aware. Shout out to I am Courtney Michelle with the $4.99 super chat. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Whoop. Yeah, I hit the wrong one. I meant to hit the kitchen. There you go. Thank you so much, Mama. And check this out. Uh-oh. Now, so you see how people do? People don't know how to act in 2022. They don't know how to act, bro. My man, Red Pill Hustle. Red Pill Hustle. I know what you be doing. I see what's going on in these streets. I like Red Pill Hustle because Red Pill Hustle is competitive. Mm -hmm. He is competitive. Let's see what he says. Happy New Year, everyone. And happy birthday. Oh, it's your birthday? What he came through super kamikaze in the chat. 2020 22 blessings for everyone in the chat with the kamikaze hundred dollar super chat. Shout out to Red Pill Hustle. If somebody would please be kind enough to go and put Red Pill Hustle's uh channel in the chat, go over there and subscribe to Bro. All right, here we go. Kamikaze. Woo! Man, they blowing up my chat, man. I don't know what to say, man. But here, here's What's one up, thing I noticed. <clears throat> Excuse me, Coach. Yes, when sir. I talk to you. Is I was talking about this book the last time I did a live. Um, the Dichotomy of Leadership by Jocko yes, Willink and Leif Babin. Okay. You're right. And mm -hmm. if you read inside of the front cover, right. It says dichotomy provides the crucial insight and awareness necessary for leaders to understand when to lead and when to follow, when to focus and when to detach, when to tighten the reins and when to let the team run and when to aggressively maneuver and when to be prudent. When I talk with you, I follow. I don't know if you realize this because bro, with the exception of a few things that I might have expertise in, I feel so outgunned. Not that it's a competition, but I realize that you're such a right. level above what I know. You know right. what I'm saying? And your right. breakdown of the ego and what's necessary for a man is huge. And right. men need to understand that. And let me say this. Y'all can view yes, this as uh, false edification or junk riding or whatever, but I'm going to tell you right now. People so often want stuff for free, right. okay? And they don't realize, yo, is the stream dead? What is going on? The stream's not is dead. It dead. Is it dead? No. Uh, hold tight. No, no it's good. not dead. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So, yeah, what ends up happening is people want stuff for free, and they don't realize how long it took you to get to the point where you can right. be so cogent in your thought process. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. this kind of feeds over into the dark side of ego that we talked about a little bit earlier today, but we're going to get there in a second. So let me ask you this. Yes, sir. When it comes to um, black men specifically, but black women as well, um, What do they need to realize specifically to have a healthier ego and self-esteem? Well, listen, you know, I think it was Aristotle. He said, to thine own self, be true. And the first thing you got to have at Guapo is uh, self-awareness. Do more or less taking the mirror and looking at yourself. You and I talked about it in private. You know, it's called right. the Medusa complex. Oh, he said it, y'all. Take a note. <laughs> it's the Medusa complex. And, uh, and so the Medusa complex is that when many are afraid to look at themselves, because just like Medusa, when she looked in the mirror, she became petrified. And then more or less it's tied to that word you use called a cognitive break yep. or what I call a schema affliction. 
And that scheme of affliction is due to a fixated mind state or fixated thought in their mind frame that more or less causes them fear when they realize what's going on as it relates to that schema. A schema is a pattern of thinking that can be good or bad, but the affliction is due to pain or fear. And so in order to have a, a good, healthy sense of ego, you have to be willing to look at yourself. Once you look at yourself and are willing to more or less do the shallow work and consider all the parameters that led you to your point of demise, that's when recovery begins. In the clinical world at Guapo, we call it uncovering to recover. You have to uncover the pathology so that you can recover. It's almost like peeling the proverbial onion. You have to peel the layers of the onion back to get to the core matter of the issue. Once you can peel those layers back, and sometimes it takes years, then you can start doing the work and the healing that's necessary to elevate yourself to that pinnacle of your success that can help you get the outcomes that are paramount to long-term sustainability. Wow. Yeah, wow. I mean, if there was one thing that you would want black men to focus on when it comes to building their self-esteem and having a healthy ego, what would that right. one specific thing be? <sighs> That's a good question. I would say, um, like Whitney Houston say, lo learning to love yourself is the greatest love of all. Once mm -hmm. you learn to love yourself, that is the bolstering of your self-esteem. So many men at Guapo have a low self-esteem. So, so, so many are not even aware that their self-esteem is low. But once men can clearly begin to love themselves at Guapo and more or less understand their inherent worth as men, then right. they can start more or less elevate themselves to that pinnacle where women can feel that positive energy and vibration and want to be around those men that are beginning to exemplify those qualities that are necessary at Guapo in healthy relationships. But also and healthy social development for that man as well. That's deep. And you know what? I did a video a week and a half ago mm -hmm. on can black women learn to love themselves again? Yes, sir. Right. I think that this message is extremely important for black women as well. Mm -hmm. And realize that your ego needs to be healthy. Right. Um, and it shouldn't be something, and we're about to get into the dark side of this ego thing something that's unearned, you know, right. um, mm -hmm. to feel good about yourself. Normally you have to put in the work, you know right. what I mean? Right. When it comes to our sisters, to black women, and I don't want to put you out there like that, but I know you ain't scared. I know you right. ain't scared. Right. What do they need to do? Because, and, and I'll put myself out there because I've already said it. Yes. Uh, hair that's not yours, nails that aren't yours, bat wing eyelashes, waist trainers, uh, clown levels of makeup all of those things are key indicators to me that you don't like the way that you naturally look that's right I, I there's listen there's no other way to put it ladies there's no and if i don't tell you and and um the other black men don't tell you the truth and we continue to placate you and keep feeding into that bs we're doing more of a disservice than we are helping you uh, right. It's no good. It, it does no good to just coddle you. So here's here's what I want to know, Kosher. What do black women need to focus on in developing um, the the uh, healthy ego that they need to have? Because here's what I find. Here's what I find. I'm not trying to lead your answer, but just a no, 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 not at all. Here, here, here's what I find. Mm -hmm. Black women, y'all set the culture and the fashion trends. Right. If people follow you. You've given all that power away. All of that power away. You know, it used to be white women would get get perms to get the body and the hair that you have naturally. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The mm -hmm. the BBLs, yeah, the BBLs are a Brazilian butt lift, but I'm gonna tell you what's up for real. Back in the 70s and the 60s, y'all women had curves like that before Brazil was even on the map and known for that type of stuff. Right. For real. So I'm going to tell you the, the honest to goodness truth. Y'all have given your power away, given it all away. And a lot of these, I don't want to get into the white knights. I don't want to do that. But what I am going to say is this. A lot of these guys are willing to tell you anything to have right. a little intimacy from you. Let a real right. man tell you, yo, y'all are, are choosing to lose when it comes to this type of stuff. 
because you right. have so much more power, right. so much more. But you have to engage in it, and it does us no good to lie to you. Kosher, what, give us one, two, or three things that you would like black women to focus on to have a healthier ego and self-esteem themselves. Well, one of the things I think I, I think sisters need to work on is that they all have a queen inside of them, but that queen cannot be uncovered until they let go. They have to let go in order for that queen to manifest. And the way that queen manifests at Guapo is allow a very strong masculine man to cover her so that she can be at rest. But, but also, El Guapo, I would say, is that in order for a woman to have a healthy ego, is that she got to realize that she has what's called unconscious pathologies. The dark side of the id could be called something called repression. Repression is an unconscious motivation when they're not aware of what they're doing. Um, a lot of times, repression occurs where they just, the, the, the trauma or the pain will come up and they press it down. But when men try to bring it to surface and try to tell them the truth, some El Guapo deal with cognitive dissonance, and they have a condition called death, a term that I created, which basically means this. They deny the evidence. They become enraged when you present them with the evidence. They argue through ad hominem attacks, meaning they argue that with the, um, the message, um, the messenger is still dealing with the message, and they fight you or flee due to that cognitive break that you talked about. Hold up, and man. So, hold up, hold up, mm -hmm. hold up, hold up. Right, right. You get a bomb for that. D-E-A-F. Def, right. Give us Def. the acronym one more time, because that, right. you know, for the people in the cheap seats, can you give it right. to them one more time? And if yes, you, sir. listen, I, I don't want to yell at my chat and my, my team, but if you right. fools are not subscribed to the kosher clinician, this right. is what you're missing. That is as right. good as Kevin Samuel's sign language. Give right, the right, right. AF deaf again. Right, right, right. So, so deaf is tied to cognitive dissonance. So it basically means this: they deny the evidence, they become enraged when you present them with the evidence, they argue do ad hominem attacks, meaning they attack the messenger instead of attacking the message, and then they fight or flee due to the pain of that association. Therefore, they can't hear you because of the cacophony that's inside their head. Once they can learn to deal with the deafness of their pain and their past, then they're going to start seeing that healthy ego shining. Because ego is more or less predicated, El Guapo, on being conscious. You can't be conscious if you're constantly being deaf due to cognitive dissonance. So once they can you know, learn to get that in, into fruition, then they're going to start having what's called a healthy ego because that's the conscious part of a person where they're beginning to see who they are and then that super ego can come into play to help them deal with their issues on a more cumulative basis. Bro, you're going to have 100,000 subs this year. Watch. I'm telling <laughs> you, man. That. So let me, like, real quick, Casey, yes, this sir. is a question for you. EWS, yes. what, what kind of clinician are you, coach or clinician? Right, right. So I, I'm a licensed clinical therapist. I, I got my master's from the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. Tar um, Hills. Yeah, Tar Heels. Um, I got my undergrad from North Carolina Central, um, Eagle Pride, and, uh, and I got my associates in law enforcement. I went to school to be a cop initially, and I got that from um, Pitt Community College. So um, I've been grinding for a while, man. I've been getting it through the mud, man, for years, you know, like you. Um, and it's been a hard road. It's been extremely hard. Um, a lot of setbacks, a lot of hater, haters. Um, a lot of sabotage, but I, I still stand firm and determined um, in this current time of 2022. Man, you're doing the work that needs to be done. And let me tell you something. This is not – I didn't bring Kosher on here to promote his channel. But I right. recognize – man, I don't see anybody in the black sector doing what you're doing. Right. You are right. super – Super rare in this space to be able to come from a place of actual expertise, what we would call in my world a SME, a subject matter right. expert. Right. Bro, uh, man, I should be paying you for Do you have a Patreon? <laughs> I'm going to get one at some point, man. You I've been so busy. You need a Patreon, Kosher. Right. You need a right. Patreon. Stop right. giving this away for free, man. Stop I, I am. I am. Free. In fact, I, 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 should, I, I should stop letting you talk until they hit the super chat again. I'm just messing with y'all. <laughs> y'all have to hit the super chat. The, uh, listen, I'm running out of graphics. I, I got a couple right. that you haven't seen yet. I think. Right, yeah. Right, 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 but uh, right, right. 
Yeah. Man, that death is so dope. Hang on one second, because Gail put right. it up there. Right. She put it up there, and I want to put it up for one more time for you guys to see. And now I don't want you guys to uh, ask anymore. Where are you at, Gail? Say, I saw it. I saw it. Gail put it up there. She actually spelled it out for everybody. I lost it. I lost it, y'all. I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah, deaf is as good as sign language. That right. It really is. Right. It really, really right. is. Right. So, well, well, it was more or less to parrot that, but you know, because I am the kosher clinician, it must be fit and proper, and uh, and it, like it, it more or less it more or less parrots what Kevin Samuels is saying, but I had to do it from a clinical perspective because um, I think that's one of the major things at Wapo that's more or less being a hindrance to a lot of our women. You can never get the queen that's inside of you until you deal with the mental fragmentation that's going on inside your head. Once you can get past those stages and that negative cacophony in your head, then you can begin to manifest and shine like the person that you are. But, you know, so many of our women, Guapo men and women, have dealt with a lot of vicarious trauma. Mm -hmm. You said it earlier, you know, the charlatans, you know, the the, the white knights, um, the Derek Jacksons of the world, you know, the, 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 the sipping forces, they don't really love our women because a true masculine man would tell a woman the truth. That's why I do what I do, and I'm so honored to women like the Miss Parkers of the world. Shout um, out to Miss Parker. She she's so sweet. Um, I can't think of the lady's name. Gail, the Gail Lockers of the world. Of course. Um, 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 and also I can't um, the Mika G's. Those are the women that have been with me since I've been on this journey, this early journey back in January. Some have come and some have gone. I'm okay with that, but I'm not going to compromise my message. Because uh, when you really love someone, you tell them the truth. The gospel says, speak the truth in love. And I try to speak the truth in love. But, you know, one of the things I tell people, and I don't want to veer too much off topic. You got when it, women man. come in, into these men's spaces, a lot of times the men are doing something called free association. That's a term that fraud, fraud used. And it's more or less talk about the things that they're dealt with, you know, as men. Some of it is good, some of it is bad, some of it is negative. But they got to go do that cacophony, they got to go do that gesticulation in order to heal themselves. But when you try to sequester or more or less silence those men, then you, what you're doing, you are more or less repressing a man or more or less suppressing them, and it's going to cause them to implode as men. Men have to have the power to emote like everyone else. And so when they don't have the power to emote, then they continue to internalize that pathology, which in essence caused them to more or less uh, cope in a negative way. Coping mechanisms can be positive or they can be negative, but we need both healthy and uh, help. We need healthy coping mechanisms many times to help us, get, help us get over the hump. And a lot of time, that's what our purpose is. We use our purpose as a mechanism to help us get over that hump. But I just wanted to say that more or less. No, I love it. I love it. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I'm going to get, I was trying to leave my pettiness in uh, 2021, but I can't help myself. But before I get there, shout out to Barry Hamilton with the four pound and 49 cents. Uh, are they cents in, uh, in pounds? Uh, super chat. Appreciate the discussion between two esteemed gentlemen. Happy New Year to everyone. Thank you so much. And you know what? Just because you gave me foreign currency, you get a bomb too. Thank you. I appreciate that. Listen. Um, as we, what's up, Friendsgiving? What is up, Friendsgiving? Princess of Facts, love his expertise. Yeah, yo, kosher clinician is the truth. Yo, check this out. Yes, sir. Two things. Mm -hmm. LaBay is always helping me identify my blind spots. And Friendsgiving right. is so good behind the scenes. She's always supporting me and stuff like that. And I right, very right. seldom, because honestly, I have my uh, cash app for the channel on a different phone than this one. And I never have that phone on me. So I ha I'm going to have my back end people for my channel figure out a way that my cash apps will come up as well, just like Super Chats. But Friendsgiving right. and, uh, uh, gosh, I'd have to look and see. But everybody else that supports me through cash app, I really appreciate that because I don't have to chop it up with YouTube. But right. uh, I thank you so, so much. So shout out to Friendsgiving. Real fast, James Turner. Man, I went to high school with a James Turner, and that was my dude, bro. Man, right, what a right, way right, to bring right. in the new year, El Wapo and Kosher Clinician. Can't beat this with a baseball bat. Thank you so much for the strong $20 super chat. I appreciate you. Let's see what you want here, man. What you want? Uh, let's give you the... 
Big Bomb and the Super Bowl. Woo! Thank you so much. I appreciate your generosity. Thank you so much. All right. So, I want to get into, and I'm going to open up the, um, how long have we been going? Just under an hour. I want to open yes. up the call lines, but I want to talk about the um, the dark side of this ego thing. Right. And I think that it's manifested itself pretty well over the last month. December was a hot mess in, um, in these YouTube streets. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I think, and one, oh, so here, Kosher, you understand, you know, we, we're mm -hmm. running a business here too. So we're, we're going to mm -hmm. do our abject best to not name names. Yes, sir. You know, shout right, out to right, Vaughn right. Bryant. I ain't seen you in a while, man. Hold up. Shout out to Vaughn Bryant. Greetings, El Wapo. Happy New Year, sir. I got your back. That's the homie right there. One of my very first subscribers. Love you, Vaughn. Thank you, man. I appreciate you for coming through, man. But um, we have seen this dark side i hate to use the word toxic but let's say cankerous mm -hmm. side of uh ego and the biggest uh dark side of ego i see is people that want to act like there's something and haven't earned an, earned a damn thing right you know what i'm saying and yes, we've sir. seen this through trolls through trolls we yes, have sir. seen this right. through cats that came through and tried to you know that will destroy something for the simple fact of destroying something. You've worked in the prison system before, right? Yes, I have. And you know, cats like that, man, in the prison system, you know, and I'm not trying to be graphic, but Go ahead. When, when I worked in law enforcement, we had two types of people. We had inmates and we had convicts. Yep. <laughs> the inmates were just quiet. They didn't say nothing. The convicts were the young bucks that were big mouths. And you know, the old heads wouldn't say nothing, but when they least suspected, they were shanked or they saw their inwards, their inwards on the ground because their mouths are too slick. And so their mouths are slick, El Guapo, and they don't know what they're dealing with. So the old heads won't say nothing. But soon when they, well, when they least suspected it, because I worked in the prison, since I worked with gang members, their inwards are on the ground, or they were dead, or they had their head rocked because their mouths were too slick. And that's the problem with so many young, some of, some, some of the young generation, um, a lot of them are dealing with what's called displaced aggression. That's why I did the, the term with uh, un the, the degreasing series. And the degrees series is tied to my man Al Grease. Yep. Al Grease is coming out with Frustrated 1, Frustrated 2, Frustrated 3. Um, you are not going to be in that in that movie. Um, yep. Um, I already um, shot know, my part uh, for Frustrated 3. Yeah, yes, sir. I did too. Yep. And, uh, and, I, and I call it degrees because Al Grease did it. He, he came up with um, the frustrated series to talk about the frustrations that many men are having here in America and why they are traveling abroad for love, hope, and in relationships. But degrees is also tied to what's called cognitive restructuring. And so just like a degrees of guapo, you have to degrees the mind and, and clear the mind from the toxins and the poisons of negativity. So displaced aggression is when people, not in a healthy way, take um, um, deal with their pain and they displace their aggression to targets that had nothing to do with the pain that they are dealing with. Yeah. So it's displaced aggression because they displace their aggression to the wrong targets. I saw you got get attacked. I did, you know, bro. You didn't do anything wrong. You did nothing wrong. I didn't even know who I didn't know who <laughs> yeah. my attacker was before the shot was fired, right. bro. Never right, even right. heard of him. Never right, right. even heard of the cat. But here's right, what's right. funny. Right. And and I bring up the prison thing. You've right. worked in prisons. I worked in it, right. I've been to prison, okay? Right. And I'm gonna right. tell you something. One thing that I know is that there are some people that are just the lowest of the low. Right. There are some people that deserve to be there for the rest right. of their lives. And that's not a judgment, but just like you have the super great existential Dalai Lamas, there is a, a polar opposite of that, mm -hmm. okay? And there are people that deserve to live under the bridge. There's a reason yes. that in the Billy Goat Scruff, the Billy trolls Scruff. were underfoot. <laughs> they, the, the bridge, the, right. they don't want to start with me, but I'm going to tell you right now. Right, what right, we're right. seeing is, and you know what? When you hear them argue, they're like, oh, based on, man, I don't even want to get into it. But what I'm seeing is a lot of people, and it breaks my heart that this is happening with black right. men. Right. A lot of these brothers are sitting there and trying to build. You can't be a troll and a content creator at the same time, number one. A exactly, yeah. right. And number right. two, right. dude, right. like, okay, 
we understand a kosher. If I say to you, dirty Mackin, you know what that means, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So for the lay people, dirty Mackin is a guy that tries to get at a girl by talking bad about another guy. That right, 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 never right, right. works out good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's the same exact thing that's starting to happen in these YouTube streets. People mm -hmm. are starting to build platforms or attempting to build platforms on Dirty Mackin by talking bad right. about other content creators. Now, right. I have no problem with being criticized. I personally right. don't really care what you say about me. Right. But when you start attacking people's families, let me tell you how exactly. bad it gets, Kosher. Let me tell yes. you how bad it gets. And we're not naming mm -hmm. any names, so I'm going to take right. Kwame Brown's approach and just say allegedly. And I know I'm being right. messy, but hey, we, we're right. we going to act right when we do the follow-up uh, of this on your, <laughs> on your show. But I'm no going to act no a doubt. fool over here. Watch this. Right, right. <laughs> when you get to the point that you're talking about people's deceased parents, mm -hmm. their wives, mm -hmm. their other people's children, and venereal diseases... And then you want to cry about somebody doxed you. Right. Shut up. Like, for exactly. real, bro. Shut up, exactly. man. Like, you don't have exactly. half a leg to stand on. And right, I don't right. wish anything ill on you. But if bad comes to you, I so understand it. why it came to you. You so invited it. it in. Right. And I it's totally hard agree. to come back from something like that, man. It really is. You know, not everybody is going to be... Um, as diplomatic as you would, as you and I, a lot of cats right. are going to take the nuclear option. Well, you know, a, a person of that ilk is beneath me. Um, it is. Know, he he will never be on my level. We not going to name he's, his name. He's yeah, the person's beneath me. You know, um, he attacked me too, and, I, and I'm okay with it. It is what it is. Um, I didn't do anything to him either. I, you know, I let Did the you know troll who come he on was my. Before it happened, I, I knew he disrespected you oh, okay. and, and so, other yeah. people. So I knew who he was, but I didn't even have to bring him on, but I did it um, because, you know, I was trying to be diplomatic. But but the same person that's talking about resolve and change, they're not more or less creating resolve and change because they're causing the problems that we have in the society that can't, can't be eradicated through what's called the government. But right. you talk about change, but you're doing things that's causing the problems that you're talking about. Everything starts at the micro level. Right. At the micro level, Guapo, then it goes to the meso level, which is the group level, but then it goes to the macro. But you can't start with the macro without understanding the micro, which is the family. Yeah. And see, and that's and that's the ignorance of that person. You know, when you get the government involved in many of the things that we're dealing with, it government never solves problems. You have to solve the problems with the with the person f first. That's what Michael Jackson said. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. You gotta look at yourself first. And once you look at yourself, then you can go from the micro to the meso to the macro, which is the government. But you can't start with the government because that's a peasant's mindset. And, uh, and, and then, you know, absolute power corrupts absolutely. absolutely. And, man, and you oh, see what's God. happening in government. I should be paying you to be on here, man. I really should. Y'all, listen, y'all hit the cash app so I can pay kosher. Because this, you should pay. I pay my therapist to get information like this. Real fast, shout out to Deborah Breeden. I believe this is the first time I've seen you on the channel. And I like this comment. Shout out to the 7.5 million new gun owners, law-abiding law citizens, done right at Black Guns Matter in Philadelphia, life skills, community building. Hey, this is going to be polarizing. I agree with Deborah. Here's why. I love the right to bear arms. I have mm -hmm. a rifle and a pistol right. named after yep. each one of my daughters, and I got three of them. So right. I got three rifles right. and right. three pistols mm -hmm. named after daughters. Okay. So, yeah, I agree with her 110%. Hey, listen, if mm, another stream, another day. We'll do that another day. But thank you so much. Oh, I owe you a kachin. Thank you so much, Deborah. I appreciate you. Um, so, Kosher, when it comes down to, I believe that we need to exile and eventually eradicate these folks that have these toxic egos from our community. I talk about right. this all the time. I talk about the uh, um, 
the honor oath at the Air Force Academy. We will not lie, cheat, or steal, nor tolerate among us anyone who does. If you're going right. to act like that, you do not need to be a part of our community. And it's not just right. trolls, guys. It's right, not. Right, right, right. But these cats that are out here that are lying to their audiences, and one thing that I take very serious, and you'll hear me talk about a lot, is the fact that I do have a platform. You know, 12,000 people, if I were to put them on my street here in Baltimore, it would fill the entire street, man. That's mm -hmm. a lot. Oh, mm -hmm. the main man is in the house. Hold on one second. Shout out to Chicago Rilla. Peace to Maj Torre. Chicago Rilla, it is so good to see you. Happy New Year to you, sir. I appreciate you stopping through and showing some love. Man, you are the absolute best. I believe I believe Chicago Rilla was one of my first 15 subscribers, and he has right. helped me immensely on my yes. growth journey in YouTube. You get the big bomb, Chicago Rilla. Shout out to you, sir. Good brother. Good brother. Yeah, he is a great brother great brother and courtney said stop following her yeah I, I was gonna say something slick but let me not say anything slick so kosher yes, here's what uh here's what i want to know when it comes to interacting with people that have these unhealthy unearned egos these levels of self-esteem that are unwarranted how should we as black people deal with those folks That's a very good question, a very nuanced question. Let's look at the eyes of the esoteric and spirituality. Um, when Jesus was on the cross at Guapo, when Lucifer saw him, and he said, if you be the son of man, come from the cross. Mm -hmm. One thing that you can do is ignore him because your purpose supersedes the troll. Lucifer was a type of troll, but Jesus understood that his purpose superseded the troll. So one thing you can do is more or less focus on your purpose because your purpose will help you supersede the troll that's trying to get you to come down off the perch, which is your purpose. That's one thing. I would say the second thing is people like that, uh, you know, try to get them help. Try to get them help. But, you know, I, 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 I saw that, you know, information and you you had a good heart you were trying you were trying to break bread you were you know giving the olive branch mm -hmm. and so you know that person people like that have pride and you have to let them suffer in their own ignorance first come pride then comes to fall yep and so sometimes you have to let them be become complicit of their own ignorance just leave them alone so once stay on your purpose and then let the person that's the agitator become a victim of their own ignorance, but also of their own pride. And they'll perish because of their ignorance. Because first comes pride, then comes the fall. So I would say just ignore them because, you know, many times those people have what's called narcissistic traits. Some of them come from very broken homes and broken families. Many times they have a very fragile ego. And in order to get feel like they're, some, they're uh, powerful, they try to pull you off your purse to make themselves feel good because they're really miserable on the inside. Yeah. So you ignore them. Until they realize they need to get help, you just ignore them. You know, you don't give a narcissist your power. That's right. If you give a narcissist your power, then you're complicit in what's called that narcissistic injury. Just ignore them because they're irrelevant. Or the, hold on one second, let me see if this works. Hold up. I, I, I'm testing out buttons. I don't know if it works. For the uh, folks that this applies to, I know it stings, but it's the truth. We all know it. Anyway, there we go. Back at you, man. Boy, they are loving you in the chat. Yo, y'all make sure you go and subscribe to my man, the kosher clinician. Because let me tell you something. Right. This whole topic was his idea. This was not El Wapo. Mm -hmm. This was his idea, and we're mm -hmm. just scratching the surface right now. I can't right, no doubt. wait to do part right. two, and uh, well, part, yeah, right, which is going to be on your gonna, channel. I can't yes, wait sir. to do part two. Listen, right. I'm going to go gonna, ahead and get ready to open up the uh, back. Yes, sir. Are you down yes, with sir, that? Brother. Yes, sir, yeah. But I want them to know that part two would be the male ego and the disenfranchisement of the brotherhood, and that's what happens. So many great movements, El Guapo, would have been more or less in sync, but we let the male ego get in the way, right. and because we didn't humble ourselves through the pride, then great movements that could have been great 
they became broken or splintered because we allowed that ego of ours to get in play into place, which more or less thwarted the movement. So the second part is going to be powerful, man. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be dope. It's going to be dope. Mm -hmm. Sorry I had to uh, drop the screen for a second, man. I'm still trying no to doubt. figure out how to do all this. But I'm getting better. Mm -hmm. I'm getting better. All right. Here we go. We're going to start opening up the back real fast. Bureau Hammer TV with the four pound and 49 cent super chat. What a way to start the new year. Sharing wisdom with El Wapo and the kosher clinician. Keep on rocking, guys. There we go. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. So I got to work on my transitions a little bit. I have you mirrored to another screen. I'm running OBS and StreamYards at the same time. Right, right. OBS, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, we are going to give it a couple of minutes before anybody gets in the back. But let me ask you this, man. Um, yes, sir. While we're waiting for people to fill up the back, what do you have planned for your channel in 2022? Give them a teaser uh, trailer. <laughs> man. Yeah, that's a great question, man. Um, you know, this stuff is overwhelming. Um, it's, it's overwhelming because I'm doing it by myself, trying to juggle being a, a father, yep. trying to, you know, be a husband, you know, you know, trying to be a therapist, trying to keep up with clinical trainings. That's why I tell people it's hard. But what I plan to do is have more short clips. Mm -hmm. um, I'll probably do some podcasts coming up this, this year. Um, and just more of the same, man, that's evolving and continue to evolve, man, to, to, you know, help the good sisters that want to learn, but also to continue to empower the brotherhood, you know, and, and, and this more or less, you know, man, I mean, I, you, you are an anomaly, you know, your growth was exponential. My growth was good. Yours but what great, you did, man. right, my growth was good. I mean, um, you know, 2000, almost 2,600 subs in, in one year. When did you is, start is your channel, if, if you don't uh, mind me asking? Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I started back in January, January the 23rd of, of, of last year. That's my best friend's birthday. One, two, mm -hmm. three. Yep. Right, right. Yeah, and so, you know, birthday. so, you know, most people that get 1,000 a year is good. That's I got great. double that. I got, yeah, that's great. But what you did is exponential. What you and the lead attorney did is not, you guys are anomalies. You know, the lead is definitely an anomaly. Here's the um, thing. You know, I got naked pictures right. of the right people. That's why I got, I'm just. <laughs> 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 yeah, real fast, right. my man Top Gun, steel sharpened steel. Kosher has been on rapid fire mode so far. Yes, you have. <laughs> no Shout doubt, out no to doubt. Top Gun. Thank you once again so much for the awesome super chat. I appreciate you so much. Um, I've got to figure out how to say this name because you are a part of my Patreon too. Into me, you see too. Into me, you see too. And end to me, you see too. Hello, everyone. Happy New Year. Sending lots of love and positivity to everyone. She sent me. She's such a great uh, uh, supporter of the channel. Um, I'm going to tell you, she was one of the ones that, that told me that I was out of pocket. Uh, a little bit disappointed in me for uh, addressing some of the tomfoolery that was going on in these YouTube streets. Right, but right, right, right. Sometimes. Here's the thing. Ladies, sometimes men have to do stuff that you're just not going to understand. Right. You're just not. LaBea felt the same way. She really did. So, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, uh, I appreciate you. Thank you. Intimacy. Duh. Intimacy. Okay. Thank you. Intimacy. I love it. Shout out to Colby Holman with the 499 Super Chat. Appreciate the knowledge, wisdom, and game from you both. Thank you. Be more in the house. Shout out to Baltimore. Come on, Ravens. We need a win tomorrow. I'm tired of y'all. This four-game losing streak. Y'all are killing me, man. Get it right, together. Man. Here we go. Shout out to Colby Holman. Thank you so much. All right, Coach, let's see who we got in the back, man. I know we got somebody back here now. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. You ready? Yes. All right. Let's do it like this. I want to make sure this looks right. Um, I'm going to put you guys. I'll put you like this. Or is it better like this? Let's try it like Either that. Way. <laughs> What's up, Fawcett Media? What's good, El Guapo, Coach Clinician? How you doing, brother? What's going on? How you doing, brother? Right. So you're telling me something else in this saga has happened again? Is is, is continuing on? How do you I mean? mean I, I mean, I saw your interaction, and I, I, I salute you for handling it the way you did, mm -hmm. even though at the end, like you said, the... The Scots started taking over, and yeah. I understood 
But uh, as as one Marylander to another, because I'm from PG County. Oklahoma, okay, I'm shout out to PG. That. Yeah. Um, I just noticed, like, there was an opportunity for learning there that 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 somebody wasn't, the person wasn't receptive to. And I, I feel like y'all had a chance to build, but but it's going to take life to teach that lesson before they're ready to hear what you were trying to say. I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah. Um, did something else happen? Uh, I mean, you said coach, coach, a clinician has an issue too. Right? Well, you know, yeah. I, I, it, 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 it's, it's not even an issue, man. You know, um, you know, I, you know, I don't want to give credence to this person or, or, or even the conversation. You can speak right. on it, Coach. But, You're my brother. I trust yeah, you. I trust you with yeah, the you know, Say what you got to yeah, say. My, my, my whole point was the the assaults. There was a sale <clears throat> on Unguapo was unsolicited. The brother didn't deserve it. He didn't do anything wrong. Um, and then I got, the, I got the fire, too, which is funny. You know, it's funny to me. You know, and uh, I didn't do anything wrong. You know, I right. was even kind enough to extend the olive branch. I didn't say you're not going to bring drama to my platform. But I don't want to make the topic of this discussion about this, that that person because I don't want to give that person power. They are irrelevant. Um, right. It's just, it's, it's just to the point that, you know, we live in a generation where the younger generation think they can dictate to the old heads how to be men. But they haven't lived themselves. They don't even know the prospects of manhood. And where the older brothers are trying to show you love, you're so arrogant and ignorant at the same time, you shoot yourself in the foot because... You're complicit in your own ignorance and your arrogance, and they don't and so, recognize it as love. They don't recognize it as love. Right, right. Yeah. They don't re- well because well, nobody's going to take that time right. with you if it's right. not love. That's that's right. what they don't get. Right, right, right. And so people like that is dealing with some unconscious pathologies, man. And um, you know, I think the ego has been a detriment to a lot of men because it's caused a lot of men to go to the grave. A lot of men that went to the grave because of the ego. Like I said, my ego is big. If you're a man, it's something that we all struggle with. It's power and dominance. And if we don't get it under control, man, it can be to our detriment, man. But, uh, but, but, but I've learned that when people that are more or less, you know, not at your level, I like what Guapo said. I'm superior. You don't, you don't even argue with people like that. It's, you know, that's why I love one thing I love about Kevin Samuels. He don't argue with people that he feel they're not even on his level. I like what one person said. He said to to my equals, I debate everyone else. I teach. Dr. So John I heard Henry Kevin Clark. say that. Right, right, Dr. Right. John Henry right. Clark. To my equals, I debate, but everyone Fawcett, else. who was it? Uh, I teach. Fawcett, who Dr. was it? Dr. John that? Henry, Dr. John Henry Clark. I love that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I like that. He said he said that in a debate, actually, right before the debate, right before he dis- demolished her, <laughs> or whoever he was. Talking. I think it was a uh, yeah. I think it was a uh, lady in the nineties. Yeah, right. that's absolutely Gentlemen, true. That's hang tight, one second, true. real fast. Let me do a little yeah. administrative stuff. LeBay, if you're listening, I could use another scotch. Number two, (laughs) y'all, if you haven't hit the like button, y'all don't rock with me in 2022. Come on. You know how long I be spending on these graphics and how much I've been paying my team to do this stuff? Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe. Not just for me. Hold up. Fawcett Media. Do you have a channel? Yeah. Yes, I do. Fawcett Media. Say again? Fawcett Media. Fawcett Media is my channel. Yes. So wait a minute now. So what we do here is we do what's called the 30-second elevator pitch. All right. Okay. So I'm going to give you 30 seconds to pitch your channel. Give me one second. I want to put you on the big screen. I want to put you on the big screen to do this. And, of course, I should be better prepared, but we're going to do it like this. Hang on. So good. I'm loving the the graphics and everything. That's right up my alley for sure. Thank you, man. Right, right, right. It's amazing. So I'm going to give you the big screen. Hang tight, kosher. Yes, sir. Go ahead, brother. And I'm going to move myself out the way because I've done, done something over here that I don't know what I'm doing. Hang on, there it is. All good. Okay. I'm going to put myself right down here. All right, Fawcett Media, this is your time, man. Go ahead. Pitch your channel, sir. All right. What's good? What's good? This is Frank Fawcett, founder of Fawcett Media, Fawcett Media, the YouTube channel. We cover entertainment news, uh, culture, business, some politics. I mess around in politics as well. Um, got a real good content plan for 2022. Going to be rolling out some new shows and programs. On my way to 1,000 subs. YouTube is hating on your brother. I gotta say, I was 25 away earlier this morning, but uh, now they rolled me back, uh, and I think now I maybe need about f- 65 
again. It's like that. But uh, yeah, I know you said you mentioned it into the show in yeah. the beginning of the show, and I was like, oh, that's me right now. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, you know, I've got twenty over twenty years in the film and television industry. Mm-hmm. I'm an actor. I'm a writer. I'm a producer. Really? I'm pitching TV shows currently. Yeah. So um, yeah, I just want to impart my knowledge that I've gotten from entertainment into this new entertainment space. And so I, I hope to be a resource for that for all of you. No doubt. And yeah, check me out. No doubt. I love no doubt, it. Brother. I love it. Shout out to the number one moderator in YouTube. Uh, that will be Gail Lockett. That's all of YouTube. Yes. You're, you're, you're the best. And she's got Gail some night. Listen, LeBay, get mad at me if you want to. Gail's got some of the sexiest hair I've ever seen in my life. She really does. I love me a big, beautiful afro. I like real, her accent. The accent but, uh, for me. Yeah, so uh, shout out to Fawcett Media. She already dropped the link in the chat for you. We got a couple of super chats we got to do. Hold up. Let me fix this real fast. I'm okay. trying to do this all on the fly. I got a little bit of a fever still. I gotta. Y'all want to come help me move? I got to move on Monday. Y'all don't care. Oh, I'm in L.A., <laughs> so I, I would. No, nah, man, I'm hiring people. I'm hiring people. And it's, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be a travesty, but we're going to try to make it work. You know what I mean? So, Where are you going? You going down I'm going south closer or? to D.C., man. Uh, make oh, the cool, commute, cool, cool, cool. Uh, easier on LaBea for her job because she works in D.C. You know what I mean? Right. So we got a yeah. few super chats to hit. K Business Podcast. Great topic. Keep up the great work. Baltimore here and go Ravens. And I know he said Baltimore here. Um, and K is a guy, just so you know, because he said, I meant Baltimore. All right. Shout out to you with the uh, ten dollars worth of super chats. I appreciate you. Hey, I owe you an email. I got your email. I've been sick. And then real talk, man, like I had a. One of my employees passed away on Christmas Day, man. So, uh, yeah, bro. So I've been trying to help the family and and stuff like that, man. So, you know, when you have. Oh, boy. uh Oh. Don't put that up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't know why that came up. Um, okay. I don't know why this is coming up on the bottom. I'm not putting that up on purpose. Where's but uh, what I'll tell you is, um, yeah, man, I, ha- I had a, a, one of my employees pass away, man, on Christmas Day. They found him Christmas Day, and that was Oof. rough. So, yeah. you know, uh, when you are responsible for other people and their families, you know, a lot of this YouTube stuff and everything doesn't even matter. I need to clip that out. Um, LaBea, remind me to clip that out when that ha- uh, when we get off of here. Shout out to Trish Trish. Happy New Year, El Wapo. I appreciate you, Trish Trish. I'm going to give you the bazooka. Thank you so much. Woo! Y'all bother me. Yeah, y'all like the draft. I'm so glad I paid this money to get them done. All right. <laughs> so, Fawcett Media. Yes, sir. How do you feel like your ego level is? You think it's healthy? Uh, yes. Uh, you know, it's funny because um, sometimes I'm told I don't have enough ego in my business. I mean, because you got to think about it. I'm in a business with Will Smith. Yeah. And people like Denzel Washington. You know what I mean? Like nobody's ever told Will Smith he doesn't have a healthy ego. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? But it's something that, that kind of pushes you uh, to the next to the next plateau in, in a way. Um, I think I could push more. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm laid back. I'm a Sagittarius since we're talking about uh, Zodiac signs. Uh, that's kind of our nature. We, we kind of play general in the cut. You know what I mean? So I'm always kind of laid back, but I, I, I got my hands in everything. And maybe that's where my ego lies, uh, mostly. Um, I don't have a planet-sized ego, as they would say, but uh, I'm, definitely, I'm definitely confident in myself. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm trying to block these messages because I'm not trying to dox anybody, man. Right, right, right. Oh. I think that's better. I think that's better. Okay. Sorry about that. Cool. Kosher. Yes, sir. As a man that has made it yes. monetization in these YouTube streets <laughs> and a man that knows what he knows and uh, his place when it comes to this stuff, do you have any words of wisdom for Fawcett Media? Uh, I would say, man, uh, your gift will make room for you. Ooh. Whatever your, whatever your gift is, it's going to make room for you, brother. Mm-hmm. Just make sure your gift is tied to a niche. And once you learn to harness that, everything else will take care of itself. I love It'll it. take care of itself, man. 
So your gift will make room for you, brother. That's that's only actually. Hey, I got a fun fact. I actually, <laughs> I thank you for that. First off, no doubt. No doubt. Uh, but I actually was monetized. I've had a YouTube channel mm -hmm. uh, under my regular name for since 2007. Mm -hmm. And originally when they introduced monetization, they just gave it to everybody. And I didn't take, I took it for granted. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It was like, oh yeah, you you know, you put up a video, you get paid for it. You know what I mean? Uh, but now the new, new YouTube game with the thousand subscriber and me building it with my company name, it's a whole nother world. It's, it's, it's hard. And I, I I, I, but I'm up for the challenge, you know what I mean? I love this. Yeah, yeah, it is hard. It's, it's, it's very hard, man, you know, because you got to be creative. Um, you got to make sure what you're saying is relevant and, right. you know, and the competition is fierce. Absolutely. But, um, but you know, you just got to keep grinding, man, until you find that market, that niche, man, and um, everything else will take care of itself, man. For and sure. you know, Guapo, I, I thought about something you said, brother. You're correct. Um, not only is that rare, not only is it rare, but it's very rare that you find black male clinicians um, in general, you know, it's not a lot of black male therapists, man. It's rare. Yeah. I'm, I'm a, my professor told me that at UNC, uh, she says it's hard to find black male therapists, but also black masculine therapists. Yep. <laughs> so it's, it's hard to find, man. I'm going to tell hard. you, I've had two in my life. Mm -hmm. The in first life, one right. was a hot mess. And you know it. If I ever come across <laughs> you again, I'd say it to your face. Uh, no, uh, no, uh, like violence, but it's just like, yo, dude, you suck. You need to find a different profession. The second one, my current therapist, Dr. Douglas, man, that man has saved my life, man. He really Good. has. So um, that's 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 really, really awesome. You know what I mean? So shout you, out you, to Vaughn Bryant. Okay. This is getting out of hand. Okay. You see it? Uh, Fawcett Media, do me a favor. Yes, sir. Yeah. I need to drop you down. Kosher, right. we got somebody yes, in the back that's literally yeah, trying I, to I dox, dox themselves. Right. Come on, man. Okay. I'm going to yeah. give you a hold yeah. on. Fawcett Media, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're, yes, your, they're in your thank private you. chat. In your private well, chat, it doesn't brother. matter what you want, bro. This is my channel. Not you, Fawcett. Right. Thank you so much, brother. Right. Got you, got you, man. Right. I appreciate it. Nice meeting y'all. Thanks. Yeah, okay, brother. Hang tight one second. Coach, hang on one second, right. man. No, in you, fact, good, brother. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going I'm to drop you down for a second because I don't want you to be yes, a sir. part of this. Okay? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, brother. I don't right. want you to be a part of this. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. So check this out. Boss, here's the thing. I'm going to give you a shot. I'm going to give you a shot, right? This is how we're going to do this. I'm going to in introduce who you are. Okay? Because a lot of my audience might not know who you are. Fair enough? Okay. I'm going to talk a little bit as fairly as I can about what happened, and then I'm going to let you rock, okay? Please respect my platform. Deal? Okay. Uh, let me drop you down, Kosher. Hang on one second. Let me get this set up. One second. Real fast. Uh-oh. Let me do this. Let me do this. Shout out to Luke Kaisley. With the super sticker, goal! I love that. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Luke Hazley, happy new year to you, madam. You unleashed the Jericho missile. Man, coming through, showing some love. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate you very, very much. Okay, hang on one second. Let me make sure I got this right. Hold on. I see you there. Hang on. Let me put you front and center. Is that right? Nope. There we go. All right. Okay, let's see how this goes. So, hang tight one second, bro. I'm going to bring you in. All right. So, here we go. This gentleman right here had uh, some interesting things to say after I did my post about LaBea and some of the issues that we were having. And listen, you know, as becoming a public figure, I have no problem with people having their opinions, you know, um, and saying what they want to say. But there are certain lines that just shouldn't be crossed. You know what I mean? And uh, I think that things got out of pocket. So I didn't find out about what was said until about four or five days later. This didn't happen on... Uh, your channel, correct? 
it happened on uh, uh, somebody that we mutually know, their channel. Is that fair, Mr. Long? Um, I yeah. guess you could say that. Yeah, so um, that all went down. I reached out to the person's channel. I'm not trying to drag anybody into this. You know what I mean? Um, but uh, yeah, so I reached out to him. He invited me to come up and talk. Um, I asked him to invite everybody up that was on the panel that discussed my live stream. And you and I kind of got into it and we had some words and neither one of us was willing to back down. And uh, here we are now. So first things first, happy new year to you. What you got for me? Happy new year, Lord Guap. How are you doing today, man? Life is good, bro. I'm still a little bit under the weather, but I'm all right. Likewise, likewise. I actually just got back in. Somebody um sent me the chat early on. Mm -hmm. But listen, like I told you behind closed doors, I haven't, I didn't come in for drama. I, I gave you my address, you know, phone number, everything we need that we can, we can be men and, and, and be men about our, our differences. The thing that I came in to say, Guapo, is the, what me and King have in common is when King ran for councilman in 2017, he was doing something to actually affect his community. Mm -hmm. I talked to Senator Gary Peters less than a month ago, mm -hmm. and our entire conversation was about black people in Michigan and what he can do to help black people. So, you know, one thing about me is every time I get on here, I shout out what I actually do in my community. So I mm -hmm. talked about how I actually went to Gary Peters and we had a meeting, how I live in East Lansing, Michigan. I sent you my address, right? Whatever, whatever. I live in East Lansing, Michigan, and I have a direct relationship with all the state representatives, the main one being Graham Filler, right? Okay. So for me, what I like to do, and my, I, outside of YouTube, because listen, I don't have a thousand subscribers. I still drive a Benz. Everything is good with my life, right? Mm -hmm. But for me, brother, what are we doing as older men? Because you're older than me, but I'm 31, right? right? And I have, I have custody of all my children, right? So I'm not a Pookie and Ray Ray, period. I'm saying... But what I don't like is when people say, um, well, Daryl is this way, Daryl is this way, but they neglect to say that Daryl has actually brought up actual things he's done in his actual community. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? And I'm working with actual leaders. You get what I'm saying? People who influence the laws that my daughter and every other citizen in this city of East Lansing is going to actually live under. So for me, listen, I didn't come here for to call you out, to talk about your lady, and none of that different stuff. I want to talk to you about creating solutions. You could listen, like you said, we can go at odds, we can be enemies, or we can not be enemies. And you know, I'm the kind of person, I'm fine either way. But I did extend the olive branch to you before. I know King came on mm -hmm. to kosher, or I think your channel, one of the, one of the channels, and said, well, Daryl threw up the white flag. What I said was, can we actually, can, can this man be beneficial to black people? He said, yes, all right then. Show me, show me what he can do as far as reaching the politicians, reaching the lawmakers, talking to elected officials, because that's all I do. I work for two different companies, General Motors and Cybersecurity, before YouTube. And I also work for the Borgen Project, which is a poverty combatant organization. Let me spell that for people in your chat. B-O-R-G-E-N, right? Project, the Borgen Project. And what okay. we do is, we talk to leaders, elected officials, every month, every week, we have different meetings with them to understand how they are holding themselves accountable. It was either me do it that way, Guapo, or me do it the Black Panther way and take the guns to the city capitol buildings, right? But they just didn't want to do that. Be real careful with the, what, what, what we say just because we're live, okay? Yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So for me, what I chose to do is me and my frat brothers, we came up with the idea was everybody needs to actually be a part of some kind of organization that's affecting the laws in their community. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not going to talk about you right now because I'm not, I'm not sure what you do, but at the end of the day, I have called out other gentlemen who says, you know, don't be a Pookie and Ray Ray. Don't do this and that, but these men aren't policing Pookie and Ray Ray. These men are making laws that's going to be advantages to Pookie and Ray Ray. That was something that you said on our channel with King. You said, Daryl, I can help you. I can help black men like you, or I can be an enemy. So that's why I'm here today. You know what I'm saying? Because this is, whether you guys want to say it or not, this is like the fourth or fifth show about me. And people said it's not about me, and nobody knows me. But on these platforms, I guarantee you from, from, 
from Vaught Bryant to Gail to a lot of other people in this chat, from Courtney Michelle, they all know me. Okay. They, they all me, know me. Let so me interject, I, man, because I'll let you rock for about yes, three, sir. four yes, minutes. Sir. Is that cool? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So I actually agree with you. It's not about you. Okay. It's really not. And, and as I hear you give the synopsis that I've heard you give before, right, um, what I continue to hear is what I have done and I have done and I have done. And I'm going to tell you something, man, that's completely inconsequential to affecting change. So one or two sparse meetings, and I'm not trying to be little, which you've accomplished. Bravo to you for doing what you've done. But here's what I don't hear. And I talked about some books uh, on my last live stream. One of them is Extreme Ownership. I don't know if you can see that right there. You see that? Uh, are you willing to own the stuff that you have done that has been beyond out of pocket is what I really want to know. Because the bottom line is this, man. Yes, sir. Uh, I will. When I talked about Dirty Mackin on YouTube, I was talking about you. And here's the bottom line. Down to brass tacks, you got out of pocket with me way before I even knew who you were. So before we can get any further down the line, bro. Uh, that was you. I didn't even know who you were. I really didn't. So are you willing to own your ish? And if you're not, there's no point in talking about the Borgen project and the senators you messed with and all that stuff. No, yeah. Bro, yeah, let I me would. finish. Hold on one second yes, now, please. Here's the bottom line, bro. Uh, your whole platform, from what I see, I don't know about your previous one. And I don't like the fact that your platform got taken because I know how hard it is to create something here on YouTube. But I'm going to tell you right now, bro. Uh, nah, dog. And you can't sit there complaining about getting doxxed. And you're sitting there talking about people's dead fathers and their wives, bro. Nobody feels sorry for you, boss. Nobody. So before we get to anything that you did, because it's not about... The good stuff you did, it's about the craptacular stuff you did. What's up with that? Um, to address a few different things, it, I never had one or two meetings. One or two meetings. I've been doing this for the last 10 years. This is why, like I said, um, my last channel, I didn't care about it going down because my AMG, my, my, I have a 2019 E-Class AMG still parked outside my You're building right now. You're still talking about you, so, bro. Hold, hold on, hold on. Uh, listen, now, don't listen, tell me to I, hold up on my channel. This is my channel. I'm trying to get well, you to address something very specific. I'm, I'm addressing Please what you do. said about my actions. You said I had one or two meetings. I'm saying no, I'm I did not. I'm talking about the crappy stuff you've done. Are you willing to own that? And I said from the very beginning, I'm always, I'm, everything I say, I own. Everything so you own I it? Say, so, yes. You stand on it? It's not that I, I stand on what I said before, and I apologize to you in that live stream. You was the one who kept going. It was me. You was the one. I, I came on, hold on. I'm Can I defend myself? Boy. When I, I came back on, I said, you know, Guapo, I apologize. What did you, you, you kept sending threats. So for me, I didn't what, threaten what I, but listen, what man, I always, I appreciate right, it. My bad. It's getting I a little long. Um, but, uh, exactly. so we're not coming to, I, th I thought we was men coming to a. What's up, Kosher? <laughs> What's up, Kosher? Oh my God, dog! You funny. You funny. Look at look at he's mad, bro. He's real <laughs> mad, bro. Oh, I, I see. I see how he's you were moving. He's really, man. really mad. <laughs> that was smart, the tactical man. black right, man. Very tactical. Tactical man. Very tactical. Come on, man. Very Come on. tactical. Man. Go ahead, and keep writing this stuff. It's going up on the right. stream. Boy, you, whatever you're writing, you're making a record. I can't stop that chat. Boy, oh boy. Anyway, on to bigger and better things. Shout yeah, he's, out he's, he's to pathetic. Red Pill right. Hustle. The pettiness. I can't. Dude, dude, Red Pill dude, Hustle, man. I can't either. I don't know what to tell you, man. I mean, come on. I tried. I tried. I tried. I don't good, know what man. to tell you, man. Good. I appreciate you, Red Pill Hustle. Coming through. Drive through. <laughs> Oh my God. 
All right. Anyway, <laughs> so let's get back to the dark side. And we actually right. just got, right. you know, a clear indication. Hang on one second, man. Hang on one second. Clear indication. Because we're going to yes, get sir, back right. on track. And listen, it is uh, 737. And what I really want to happen, I can't tell anybody what to do. Oh, my gosh. Come on now. Uh, no, let's do it like this. Let's do it like this. I'm going to kick you from the back, bro. Happy New Year to you. All right. There you go. We should be good there, Coach. We should be by ourselves now. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, I really want everybody to go over and um, support Gail Lockett uh, when it comes to – you got to – <laughs> what what is the cash app for for me? What is my cash app? Gail, I don't even know my cash app. Here it is. Gail's got it. Thank you, Gail. Thank you. Listen, I didn't want to do that, Kosher. I really didn't. No, no, it was smart. It was very good. It, man. Very, very, very smart. Thing. Very smart. Very smart. I, I'm just telling you right now. I'm a planner. No doubt. I knew eventually you were going to come up. And I right, knew right. you were going to eventually embarrass yourself. And I knew that right, you were going to start right. talking crazy. And I really right. gave you a chance. I let you talk uninterrupted for like three, four minutes. And you didn't own any of the stuff, the really dirty Mac and stuff that you did. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? And, right. And right. it's like, bro, I tried. And you think you're smarter than everybody else. Don't try right. out thinking right. you're going to hurt yourself. Right, Stop. that was classic, man. I'm, that I'm was trained classic. in doing this, and I'm sorry right. that I had to embarrass you. Hopefully you get a couple of subscribers, and I look <laughs> forward to never hearing about any of the response videos that you make because I blocked notifications from your channel. I right. tried. So it is what it is. Shout out to Love. That man talks dirt about women then says he protects women. Him, Lucky, Marie, and oh right. boy, their name and name needs to be called out. Okay. Right. Uh, I hate to, to I, don't, I don't know about the other people. All I can say is the person that I dealt with individually. Thank you so, so much. And uh, I appreciate the generous super chat. But sometimes, man, you know, here's the beauty. Kosher clinician, and I'm a little tipsy, but I'm going to tell you this. Sometimes when you, you have been in this game, a little bit deeper than most and you got a little more experience you know it's not too hard to go through and be prepared you know it's like the floyd mayweather you know the punch is coming go ahead and throw it and i'm gonna counter and then you're gonna get this right. Right. that was classic man. <laughs> like come on man that was I, classic. I stop bro that was you're not it, it's levels to this man there are levels <laughs> i wish you the Boy, best that was powerful that was powerful. I wish you the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's clear that dude has some serious mental problems, man. You know, never took ownership for what he did, clearly. Not only did he disrespect you, a man that, you, you know, you were, you were he was a nobody to you, a nobody to, to me as well. He's very disrespectful. He's disrespectful to elders. And like I said, cats like him, man, you know, in the prison system won't last long. No. And, oh, um, in prison? You know, he won't last no. long at all. He won't last long. He's, um, he's, and, 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 he, what do right. they call, what do they call the little, uh, uh, the, uh, Oh, this is going to be, this is going, you think that was petty. Listen to what I'm about to say. And this is scotch. <laughs> this isn't me. What do they call the little size uh, Snickers bars and everything that happened uh, that you get for Halloween? Uh, fun size? <laughs> yeah, fun size, right. He's five seven five eight. No diss to my shorter brothers. <laughs> right, right. But he wears it on his sleeve. How many times do right. we hear about his bends? Right, Bro, exactly. Your fun right. size. Don't get, right, in the, right. don't get in a situation where you lose your freedom. Right. And I'm not wishing right. that on you, man. Stay free. I don't right. want any black men to get locked up. Right. You know, right. but I'm just saying, bro. Well, well, that was that was a classic sign of what you call a dark. Actually, what you did was perfect. Um, that was perfect, yeah. Wapo, to That's what we're talking me, about. Listen. That's why I paid my team to, to set this stuff up. I'm ready. Listen, if somebody shows <laughs> porn on my joint, I got a kill switch for the stream. I'm telling you. That is powerful. I'm That's ready. powerful, man. So is, let's finish awesome, talking man. about the awesome. uh, dark side, right. and then let's see if we have anybody else that comes up. Guys, I'm not going – I promise I won't uh, uh, lampoon y'all like that. Let me drop the um, – one more time. I'm going to drop the link, and then we can get ready to get out of here, Kosher. I look forward yes. to uh, the next one. Yes, the next no doubt, one on no your doubt. Channel. Yes, me too. Let's see here. I'm getting called Petty Murphy on my cash out. Shout out to Jamal. <laughs> Yes, I'm Petty Murphy. I've been I've been told I look like Eddie Murphy. 
<laughs> from the Navy. Brother for no one cares. Yeah. So, yeah, I love it. I love it. I have a hey, Hakeem. I had my finger on the button the whole time, bro. I had my finger on the button the whole time. So, yeah. It is what it is. I tried. I tried. I'm going to try to not clip it up for you, bro. Listen, and the bottom line is this. Kosher, I, I'm, I'm done being petty after this. I'm going to say this. Have you noticed the man spells his name wrong? Normally, <laughs> that name has two L's, huh? Two L's, I guess he's right, holding right. the second L. Oh! Right, right, right. I don't even call him a, I don't even call him a man. He's a boy. Hey. Um, I call him a boy because hey. men don't do that, man. Uh, anyway, and, and on to bigger and better. Right. On to bigger and better things, man. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't help myself. I love the petty side of, of El Wapo, but I try not to be like that. I'm sorry, <laughs> right, y'all. Right, I'm so right. I hate to disappoint you in 2022, people, but this is how I really am. Shout out to Cody Marshall with <laughs> the five dollar <laughs> super sticker. Incredible. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. No, that wasn't an ad. Big Swole TV. That was planned. That was planned. I literally programmed a button for Holden the second L. That's his new name. Holding that second L. <laughs> I, I literally planned a button on my stream deck because I knew it was coming. Right. Because I'm a tactician. And he's right. trying to be what he can't be. You're, you're outmatched, buddy. You're outgunned. Anyway, <laughs> kosher. Yes, sir. Let's double check. Make sure we don't have anybody in the back, man. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Who we got here? Oh, there's my lady. There is my lady. Hold on one second. Hang on one second. Let me let me let me fix this, TJ. Give me one second, okay? One second, and I'm gonna put her on the left, okay, Kosher? Yes, sir. Go ahead. And I'm gonna put you in the middle. I'm gonna let right. you drive this ship, and then let me make We're this drive full the ship. screen. Okay, <laughs> and then. I'm gonna let, which button do I hit? I hit this one. Display. Display. Okay. Nope, okay. that's the wrong one. Hold on a second. Let me do this. That's better. Okay. Shout out to you, TJ Mosaic with TJ Randolph. Hang on one second, ma'am. Hang on one second. My main man just came through. Shout out to Gaston's World. Yo, I rocks with Gaston's World. I can't wait. Gaston, me and you are gonna do some collabs this, this year, man. Thank you so much for the $10 Super Chat winning all 2022 with the big bomb. I'm going to give you all three. One, two, and three. Ooh, shout out to Gaston's World. Thank you so much for your generous support. I appreciate you, sir. If somebody would please, please, please put Gaston's World's um, channel in the chat. Let's get a hey, subscriptions and likes are free, y'all. Let's make it happen. Ma'am. Mosaic with TJ Randall. Say, Salute uh, to you, madam. I just came to I just came through to say Happy New Year. That's happy it. Happy New Year. Mr. Randolph sends Happy New Year as well. What's up, Mr. Randolph? How are you, we're, sir? We're having movies. He's I, I, I told him I'll be right back. We were on a commercial. Uh, okay. This is movie night. This is date night, movie night. Do it. Do you it. know, the simple things gives me so much joy. Did I do okay? Because listen. Uh, TJ was trying to dig into your boy a couple days ago, and I tried to explain yeah. to her, I, I don't do anything without thinking about it. Are right. we good what now? What, what, you still love what me? What did I say, El Wapo? What did I say? I Tell thought me what about you said. that, and I said that. I'm like, I said, I was coming at him like, I said, I'm going to whoop your ass. Yeah, that's what you said. We talked on the phone. And I was like, TJ, you got to give me a little more credit. LaBea does the same thing. She's like, why did you do that? I was like, I'm trained to do this. I am trained to counter strike this is what i do i'm yes. trained for this so That's, i'm so uh, sorry but tj did i do okay i didn't cuss anybody out no you didn't not cuss tonight anyone out. and i i think you 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 did what you felt you needed to do because at some point when you feel the conversation is not going to move in a positive direction i think you have to abort mission yeah sometimes you got to just eject let the plane go down yeah you know. abort mission yeah so uh yeah i just came through to say uh I, you know i did a live me and my me and my fruit did our first live of the um of the new year me okay. and my fruit and it was really about the solutions we're going to go forward with in 2022 solutions trying to grow women grow relationships how they can learn and not do the same crap that we do 
Right. So that's, that's what we're going to focus on in 2022, growing Womanati. Shout out hashtag Womanati. Womanati. Uh-oh. Hey, the troll said that name. I'm just letting you know. So he was coming for you, too. Just letting you know. Yes, I know. So... But, I am um, willing I, to defend I, I my team against all it. enemies, foreign and domestic. <laughs> it is not a secret society. It is a, a concept. Uh, it's an acronym that stands for wisdom, optimism, uh, maj- majestic uh, majesty, bringing back class, style, grace, femininity, poise, sophistication. That's uh, um, accountability. We're holding each other accountable as women. Meaning, I'm not going to co-sign on your BS. Yep. We're being nurturing, okay? We're going to nurture each other in love but still grow each other, okay? okay. We're talking about, um, what is another one? I, I got to get my acronym. And I haven't even been drinking. But <laughs> I have. Happy New Year. One is, uh, I, I was gotta drinking get the, uh, uh, NyQuil what's yesterday. So. What's, the, what's <laughs> the other A? But anyway, it's teachable, teachable, and inspirational. I'll get it all together, but it's up on my page. So that's what we're it. doing. It's not. It's not. It's not a cult. It's not a uh, secret society. It's about how we gonna grow each other in 2022. That's what we doing. What, what's up, yeah. TJ? What's, what's been going on, man? You you've you been hiding. I ain't heard from you. Where you been at? Where you been hiding? You know, me and Mr. Randolph in between two houses. We're moving. He's moving me up on. Uh, he's moving us up up on up to the east side. Moving on. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Mr. Randolph. Thank you, man. Listen, I, I feel your pain. I hate moving. I have not packed a yes. thing. LeBay has packed this whole house. I pay for the movers, yep. though. So. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Because we wise, we take care of the minor inconveniences. You understand? Y'all handle the big stuff. We handle the little stuff. Amen. So, yeah, Mr. Randolph has us moving on up to the east side. So that's what I've been doing. I've been um, incognito sometimes. Nothing wrong with that. Handle the family. <laughs> Shout out to Mr. Randolph. Shout out to your daughter, Danny. Shout out to all the wonderful things that you're going to do in 2022. Shout out to you hitting a thousand subscribers last Shout year. Out. Yeah. Well, That's what I'm Christmas talking present. about. You get the bomb, TJ. Boom. Shout out to Give you. I'm so proud of you. And I owe you a phone call. Give me like three, four yes, days. Yes, you do. I'm and hurting. you know what? I yeah. don't know if you noticed. I took your advice. And the, the show that me and Danielle do on Saturdays is called what? Ladies Legacy. You I'm gave trying. me that name. I, yeah. I'm trying. You gave I it like to it. me. I took it. I like I told you, you take it. Take it with Legacy. you. Hey, I got, you know, but I give you the shout out because you said yeah, that's what it should be. I yeah. like it. I took it. The, listen, y'all ladies got a legacy too. And you and your daughter can make it happen. Y'all stop talking about yeah. my, my homie, man. Y'all got to stop talking about him, man. Listen, let him hold that second L. He doesn't know how to even spell his name. Let him hold, hold that second L. Hold it, brother. Hold it. Hey, hey Guapo, you remember I'm that? Sorry. You remember? Hey, Guapo, hold tight. You remember that? Uh, I think it was what was the comedian um, TJ? Uh, I think it was Ricky Smiley, and he said that little Daryl needs some milk. Little Daryl needs some milk. <laughs> little Daryl, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know that. I, I, see. I, I don't know I'm that. Having, I'm being Look, I don't want to drag y'all into it. That's the kosher. That's why I pulled I'm you just down. Having, we just having some fun, man. Having fun. Yeah. Having fun. You know. I pulled you down. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm a dirt bag. I know. It. You Listen, know what? Here's the thing. y'all going to be real disappointed with El Wapo. Uh, sorry, next week, until my sex sorry. tape comes out. It's going to be terrible. It's going to be, you y'all going to be like, no, he didn't. Yeah, why? You're not, you're not sorry. Mr. Randolph will say, just say something, but he said, he's, I'm sorry. I said, no, you're not. He said, you're right. I'm not. Oh, so- my dude <laughs> just came through. Hold up one second. Hold on one second. The ace. See, they hate this right here. My main man, Jonathan Barronville coming through. Jonathan, I'm so glad where you've been at, man. Happy New Year, brother. What's good, man? Jonathan Barronville coming through like my man, uh, Millennial Mark. Uh, D holding the second L is a clown. He made hit pieces on me too. I saw that. He lied on me through feminine ad homonym attacks, etc. I spent send fig- I spend six figures a year supporting and investing in black creators, entrepreneurs. I know this to be true. I know this to be true. While he acts like a female, some of us put in the work. Let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something. First things first. I really appreciate the true words that you speak. Second, I don't appreciate you coming in here 
and dropping all this money in my chat. Just because you got all that money, don't be disrespecting my chat with these $50 and stuff like this. Who the hell do you think you are, Jonathan Barronville? What do you think this is? <laughs> Respect my chat, bro. Don't be coming through, dropping the Jericho missile. <laughs> Missile. Kicking in the door like the SWAT team. <laughs> Listen, I said, and I mean, and hold up, I going said. kamikaze on my chat. I don't appreciate that, Jonathan. I don't appreciate that, man. Show me some love, man. Put some respect on my chat, man. Coming through disru disrupting with all that money you got. I'm just messing he with you, dog. It. Thank you so much, Jonathan <laughs> Barronville. I really, really appreciate the love. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you, TJ. Please. No, this is this is your show. This I just was, you know, say, you know, again, I'm very focused this year. I want to really focus on um, solutions. You know, shout out to what the funk he said. 2021 was a year of accountability. Let's make 22, 2022 the year of solutions and that's really what i want to focus on amen so, to that amen to that I just we're stronger together tj absolutely together. absolutely yeah. and yes uh you do owe me a uh oh you'll fall a, a, a mentoring lesson because i'm trying to get take it to the next level in 2022 uh, look I, I i i was telling listen people have problems with king i feel like king and i had a good conversation the other night when we spoke mm -hmm. And one of the things that I, I, I said and I meant is I never want to be the king. I want to be the kingmaker. I want to make all of y'all royalty. I don't want to be the king. I want to be I want to be the Dick Cheney of YouTube. I know that sounds terrible and your skin crawls when I say it. Let me be, be the Dick Cheney of YouTube. That's what I want to be. Yeah, so. Well, each one teach one is what I say. <laughs> People are wilding in the chat right now. Somebody says surviving El Wapo. <laughs> All right, TJ, mercy. I'm going to leave you to it. To Kosher, we got to get, yes. Tell Mr. Randolph I said, happy new year. Salute to him. Okay. Congratulations on the new home. Uh, once you get settled, hit me up. I don't know if you have a P.O. box. I'll send you a housewarming. Okay. And give my best to LaBea, would you? I'm going to give it to her. She's downstairs packing. Keep having okay. baby, because I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> Good night. Yeah. So, all right. Good night. Good night. I got so, you, Jack. Kosher, Good night. give me one second, brother. Let's see what we got back here. Uh, okay, it's just us, man. We did it, baby. We did it. <laughs> we did it. Hang on one second. I want to shout out. I don't want to mess up your name. Shanelica, I think it is. Shanelica Benincourt, playing devil's advocate. Casey, as a trained therapist who understands the inner workings of the mind, why be mean to him instead of trying to guide him? We've tried to guide him. I'll answer We've that. tried to guide him. We've right. tried right. to guide him. Yeah, right. we have tried right. to guide him. And I, we have. My joint is all jacked up now. Hang on a second. Right. Right. Uh, I done lost my thing. Oh, Lord. See, this is why my back end team be cussing me out. They be like, yo, Wapo, why you keep changing stuff? I'll be like, I don't know what I'm doing. But, uh, Shanelica Benicourt, that is a good question, but in all honesty, we tried to help first. Me and right. Kosher Clinician, because I right. saw when right. he came on your channel. Right. And you told him, right. brother, I love you. You said right. it. Said you it. Said right. it. Yeah, tell, tell him to go look, go check the channel go out. Check go out check out the, the Kosher show. Clinician's channel. When, when, right. go, when go check the show out. came up. When he came on. Right. When Little D holding his second L came up, Little right. D holding his L's, <laughs> and and not only that, go check his channel out where he not go, only disrespected, go, yeah, go check go, don't, Guapo. Don't subscribe, he though. disrespected several people. Yeah. Don't subscribe. He's but way he disrespected out of several pocket, people. Joe. He's, He's way, way out, out of pocket. pocket. So we've tried to help this this young man, yeah. but he, he has some some serious mental health issues. Yeah, so he's, uh, he's something that, wrong. You know, right. you know, something ain't clicking upstairs. But hey, shout out to Shanelica. Thank you so much. You get the carpet bomb. Boom. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate you. Shout out to Chaos Rain. Happy New Year to you, brother. Happy New Year. So, here we go. Kosher Clinician. As we wrap up and get ready to head over to Gail's channel, somebody please drop Gail's channel in the, uh, in the chat. 
because I want all of us over there. And if you haven't subscribed already, let me tell you something, man. Subs are free. I need y'all to hit that subscribe, not just for me, but for the kosher clinician and for definitely Gail Lockett. Hit these subs, baby. Hit the subs, okay? Here's what needs to happen. I need you guys to go over there and support the number one moderator on YouTube. She's the best. She's the best of the best. Please go over there and do so. But as we wrap up, Kosher, yes, let's leave yes, them sir. with a little teaser trailer because we're just getting started, aren't we? No doubt. Yes, sir. We're just getting started, brother. What what, what are we going to do on your channel? What do you say? Part two? Part two, brother. Yeah, yeah. So part two is going to be the culmination of part one about toxic egos. We're going to talk about the historical framework, how powerful male movements were started, but we allowed the male ego to more or less disrupt that powerful movement. And we're going to come up with solutions to more or less derail that moving forward. So we're going to talk about historical contexts of people um, that allowed their egos to stop strong movements that would have been more or less sustainable for our communities. But also we're going to talk about um, ways to overcome that and the importance of brothers holding each other accountable and working together as a team because the male ego as it relates to power can be a detriment or can be uh, a blessing. It depends on how you use it. So we both said we both got big egos. I got a big ego, uh, but at the same time, I try to keep it under wraps. So. We fight every day, don't we? We fight every day. We, we, yeah. we, fight, we fight every day, man. But when you can turn it for something good, that's what I strive to do, then everything takes care of itself. And actually, the male ego is good, Guapo, because sometimes, like I like what Anton said, uh, you don't like to be motivated negatively. You don't like that. Mm -hmm. um, so so sometimes the ego can motivate you in a negative way. But as I'm getting older, I'm trying to be more, you know, copacetic in how I deal with things and do things. And um, so, the, so the next mental right. attitude. Mm -hmm. I'm with you. A positive mental attitude. Right. Exactly, brother. Right. Positive mental attitude. Let's wrap mm -hmm. up these super chats. I can't wait for the next one. As soon as we get it planned and we're ready, I'm going to announce it on my Instagram and on my uh, community tab. I can't wait for you to take the reins of this conversation. I hope oh, that I do half of the job that you did on my channel, bro. Oh, you're I gonna really be fine, feel bro. like you're, you're getting uh, way less out of this deal than I am, for real. Right. So, But shout well, listen, out man. to Kim O.C. Right. You're, Kim you're my brother, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're, my, you're, you're my brother, man. We've been in the grind together for a minute. We got it from the mud, man. And, um, you know, like I said, you know, from the show you did about um, when you were on my show, Black Men of Love Universally, um, that was a good show. So, like I said, man, it's going to be it's going to be fine. You're going to do fine because you are an intellectual. And uh, we'll figure it out. So it's going to be a good show. I love it. Shout out to Kim O.C. who says, Happy New Year to El Wapo, the Dick Cheney of YouTube. I love it. Shout out to you, uh, Kim O.C. I appreciate that generous super chat. You get the bazooka, sir. Woo! And then I've got to acknowledge my main homegirl. Moments with Mickey Red. Happy New Year. Excited to see what you all are going to do in this upcoming year. Shout out to you, Mickey Red. Thank you so much for supporting me for all this time. And let's see, did I miss anybody else? Oh, yeah. Oh, our homies in here. Look at this. Shout out to Snuggles668 with the $5 super chat. Now, because you all have these animations, you think you are a top dog all of a sudden, and you are telling people what to do. Who do you think you are? I ain't nobody. I, I done told y'all I ain't ish. I'm just like, El Wapo ain't ish. Deep down inside, you would be very disappointed. But I'm trying, y'all. Shout out to Snuggles. Not only do you get the kinching, you get the incoming. Shout out to Snuggles. Thank you so much for being such an awesome supporter. I appreciate you. All right. I think we've, uh, as uh, Howard Stern would say, you've done it all. You've said it all. I think that's about it, Coach or Clinician. I think we need that's to get over it. there and uh, hang out with uh, Gail. Did somebody drop no Gail's uh, info? I need to drop Gail's info. Hang on one second. <laughs> Hang on. Let me do this because I would be the worst of the worst if I didn't put her info in. Um, give me one second. Where are you at, Gail Lockett? All right. We got to put Gail in here and make sure that we are going over Gail at night. She has 580 subscribers. 
Let's get Gail all the way up there. Because she was supposed to start. I don't see the link for her uh her live stream anymore. Gail, where's your live stream at? Okay, Vaughn put it in there. There you go. Y'all go sub to Gail's channel, and I think she's doing a live stream right now at 8 o'clock. So we are going to jump off to make room for her. Thank you so much, Vaughn. Kosher Clinician, it is yes, such sir. an esteemed honor to have yes, you. Yes, sir. Likewise. Today. And I mean like, that likewise, genuinely. Brother. And I'm going to tell no you, doubt. I'm so sorry for having the effery happen while you were here. Right. I hope you for right. can forgive me. Oh, sure. Yeah, man. We Listen, man. Next time you know, we're overseas, is is. drinks on me for this okay <laughs> no problem brother much love and blessings man drinks and no cigars are on me there no we doubt, go i'm no gonna doubt. make it up no to doubt. you bro no i doubt. appreciate no you sir salute to you right. salute to you brother salutations y'all go subscribe to the kosher clinician please no please doubt. please please like the video on your way out give kosher clinician a sub and guess what we're out of here, y'all. Right, and guess what? We're out of here, y'all. Right,